Hi, this is Geertjan. In this screencast we're going to set up Java on a Raspberry Pi. And I have next to me, next to the computer, a Raspberry Pi setup. I'm going to connect to it first of all via PuTTY. And here is PuTTY. Run it. 169.254.30.40 Open the connection Log in as Pi My password And here I am now on my computer which is connected to my laptop I can see here I have some content already It's um, all set up the Raspberry Pi is set up. The one thing it doesn't have right now is Java. It has Raspbian, the Raspbian distribution, but it doesn't yet have Java. So we're going to set up Java on my Raspberry Pi. So right now it just says Pi. This is my home directory. And here I'm going to create a new directory called JRE and give it also write permissions and read permissions and in that JRE folder on my Raspberry Pi we're going to put Java and then we're going to deploy some NetBeans applications to the Raspberry Pi. So first of all we need to be on the page that provides Oracle Java SE embedded downloads. I've accepted the license agreement. There we go so we can save this into a folder I've especially prepared for it. And what we're now downloading is the Oracle Java SE embedded version 8. And it will include the JRE create tool, which from within NetBeans we can use to create the JRE that we want to then deploy onto our Raspberry Pi. So here it is. Let's extract into our folder. Okay, here it is. Extract that into our Pi folder. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look at our folder called Pi. Here it is. So EJDK, so that's the embedded JDK. And it has a bin folder, JRE create. It has a lib folder, JRE create. So these are tools for creating a distribution, either Compact 1, Compact 2, or Compact 3, with or without the JavaFX extensions. So that lets us create a JRE, especially for our purposes, and then we need to put that onto our Raspberry Pi. And there's all kinds of tools we can use to do so, to do this. So right now you can see our JRE folder is empty. Um, but NetBeans lets us do all this work for us. So we're going to create a new Java platform and say add platform. We say we want to create a remote Java standard edition. Fine, we'll call it Raspberry Pi. Our host, 9254-3040. Uh, we have a username. We have a password. Um, and we'll say on our device, so on the Raspberry Pi, there will be a folder that will be created, Home Pi NetBeans Project. So back here, there'll be on this level, there'll be a folder called NetBeans Projects, and when we create a NetBeans Project, it will be created in that folder on the Raspberry Pi. Um, so we don't have the JRE right now on the Pi yet, so we're going to create it. We're going to point to this uh, EJDK. So here you can see it accepts it. So instead of running this JRE create tool ourselves, we're going to say, okay, we want NetBeans to run the tool for us. We want the Compact 3 profile. We want a client on the virtual machine. And we want the extensions for JavaFX. So 
So then we say create. So now the create tool is being run. And once that's run, the result of that process is going to be uploaded onto our Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now the JRE is created, and you can see here in the status bar at the bottom, connecting to remote JavaC platform, you can see here building, connecting to remote, so all kinds of things are happening. So connecting to the Raspberry Pi, that's what's happening at this point. Okay, so it's finished. Okay, it didn't take very long, I must say. Click finish. Okay, so here's all the details of um, what's just happened. So here we see all the system properties. Also very useful when debugging. And let's now test this platform. So we verify the remote platform. Okay, successfully established. That's great. And let's go to Putty now. So in Putty, now I do an LS again. And you can see here, now, okay, JRE, we already had that, so we're going to go inside JRE. And you can see here, in here we have bin, and inside bin we have Java. So let's run Java. Let's see what's going on there. Okay, great. So we go back. You can also see, okay, so Java we have running. You can also see we have this NetBeast projects folder. And right now it contains nothing. Okay, so we close this. And you can go back to it any time. So Java platforms, you can see here Raspberry Pi with all our settings. So let's now create an application. Okay, so we start by creating a new project. Java application. Hello, Pi. Click finish. And here we have some content. Can get rid of it. And we will have a hello from Raspberry Pi. Okay, it's called Hello Pi. Let's go to properties here. Let's set our profile to Compact3, which is what we set our JRE profile to be that we created before. Go to run. Choose Raspberry Pi. Hello Pi config. Okay. Oh, we deleted our import statement, our package statement. Hello, Pi. Okay, so let's set up our output window and let's run it. So there you can see a connection is being made. Okay, and um, hello from Raspberry Pi. Now back on Putty. Okay, here's hello Pi. Okay, let's see. And there's a dist folder, and there's the jar. So the jar has been deployed to the Raspberry Pi, which makes complete sense. And um, yeah, there it is. So we could run it. Um, we could run our jar right here. But the thing is, we can use NetBeans to do our development work and our debugging work and our profiling work. So for example, um, Let's say now that um, we want to do some a little bit of debugging. So we say a string day is Monday. Uh, if 
day equals Tuesday then we'll have a message it's not Monday so now let's set a breakpoint there and let's debug this so again what you can see is that on our device that application is being debugged not some local um, not some some local uh, application but the actual remote application that's on the Pi is the one that is being debugged okay so for example you can see our variables okay so the string is Monday at this point and the next thing we can do is we can take a look at profiling so the application is, is still deployed on the Raspberry Pi so right click and we do Raspberry Pi we look at the memory for example run and you can see here connections being made to our Raspberry Pi it's connecting to the target VM which is the Raspberry Pi okay that's fine but the point here again is we've made a connection to a Raspberry Pi and that's where our profiling is done connecting to you see here so it means you can create debug and profile applications that are deployed on the Raspberry Pi and you don't need to worry about this JRE create business with the Java SE embedded um, tooling you can download as you could see and then register that um, download in the Java platform manager and let NetBeans create the the JRE and NetBeans will deploy that JRE to your Raspberry Pi because here everything still is so Java is there I have my NetBeans projects there and now I can do all my development work within NetBeans thank you